How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and welcome back to another RPG Maker tutorial. This is going to be how to collaborate a sprite with RPG Maker MV and how to create a sprite sheet that's usable in RPG Maker MV. You can even create one sprite and import it as all the sprites in MV. Let's look at a quick example, jumping into a sprite and creating a new file. RPG Maker MV uses 48 by 48 on their sprite size, but you don't have to only use 48 by 48 you can increase the width you can increase the height and if you're looking for a different kind of non chibi sprite you might want to add some height and you can increase this to 96 pixels if you want them super long or 72 we're gonna go with 48 by 72 we're gonna select the color mode RGBA we're gonna select a background that is transparent so here we have our new sprite middle mouse will scroll us in if we want to create a sprite sheet out of this we're gonna need more frames let's talk about how a sprite sheet works so here we have a typical RPG maker MV sprite sheet. We've got a series of rows and columns. We've got three columns and four rows. The rows represent the animation process. So this is frame one, frame two, and frame three. And the columns represent the direction that the character or the sprite is facing or moving. But if they're facing up, they're going to be drawing on this fourth row over here. Columns one, two, three, cycling as the animation plays out. So we want to replicate this sort of format when we're creating a new sprite. Since RPG Maker uses 48 by 48, we can use that or we can change that. It doesn't have to be 48 by 48. We can have any resolution we want as long as it's equally divided cell by cell into three columns and four rows. I'll show you how to create something like this, like export something like this by using the frames in Aspirite. What we're going to do is create a new one. I'm going to say 48 by 72. You can check whatever resolution you would like. I'm going to say RGBA, so it's got the red, green, blue, and alpha components. Set a transparent background and setting square pixels one to one aspect ratio. Now we've got just this one box. So how do we make this one box into a sprite sheet that RPG Maker MV can use? We need to have the character facing down first, left, then right, then up. We're going to draw them in order. Let's go ahead and make a down arrow. Here's our down arrow. And now we're going to right click on the one and add a new frame. Now this frame is going to copy the previous frame, but what we can do is select it and we're going to animate by very cheesily animating it, easily animating, selecting it, moving it down, and then what we're going to do is move it back up. Deselect this, right click the two and add a new frame. We can move it right back up to another location if we wanted to. We just need three frames. Now we've got our down facing frames. We can look at our comparison. Now that we've made our down facing, we need to look at our reference and see that we're looking for a left facing frame. So we'll add a new frame. Let's make our left facing frame. Gorgeous. We'll right click this, add a new frame. We can also press Control N. What we're going to do is select this. You can use M to quickly select this. Drag this up a little bit and then we'll press Control N, drag this back a little bit. And now we have our left facing frame. Now we'll create a new frame and we will press delete and get rid of that. Draw our right facing frame. Select it. Control N for adding a new frame. Move it forward a little bit. New frame, move it back a little bit. Now we've got our down, left, and right facing frames. Now we need our up facing frame, so let's go ahead and make that. And that should do it. So here we have 12 frames of an animation. I mean, we can play it, but we're not going to use it for an animation. We're going to export this as a sprite sheet that we can use in RPG Maker MV. We've got our 12 frames all on one layer very easily. We can save our project as an Asprite if we need. We're going to export this as a sprite sheet, or you can press Control E. Now, in order to make this work correct, you're going to select on By Rows. You're going to select three numbers of columns. In order to determine your width and height, you take the starting width and height of the image. In this case, it's four. 48 by 72 and you multiply the width by 3 because we want 3 columns. We'll take our calculator 48 times 3 and that'll tell us 144 for the width. We know that our height is 72 so we'll take 72 and we need 4 rows so we'll multiply 72 by 4 that gives us 288. For this resolution 48 by 72 we're going to export a sheet that's 144 by 288. We will select all visible layers we're going to select all frames and we're going to name our sprite sheet. Now it's important to use a dollar sign at the beginning of the sprite sheet so that you can let the game engine know that this is a single sprite. It's not a PNG that contains multiple sprites. It's like this is a four directional sprite with animation, but only for one thing, not for eight things. We're gonna use a dollar sign at the beginning of it and we're gonna call this arrow 
sheet and hit OK. We are saving it inside of the IMG characters folder. But we export it and you can see that it's creating a sprite sheet like one that RPG Maker MV can use. So now that it's added to the folder, we can jump in the game, create a new image or even a character, look for where we saved it, dollar sign, arrow sheet, and we'll give it a random movement with a super fast so we can see it move around. And our arrow sprite took off, he's running around. We have our, our sprite sheet going mighty fast. And uh, yeah, so that's, that. that's how it works. And we could also, inside the engine, once we have that, create that as a character. And we're going to select the character image for Arrow Dude. And uh, that's our character. So now the main character is Arrow Dude. And it animates. Just like it's supposed to. So that concludes the basic tutorial on how to export a sprite sheet that RPG Maker MV can read using a sprite and all the settings and the basic logic behind it. Um, I hope you weren't expecting me to draw amazing art because you can see this alien mutant. That's the extent of my drawing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I really appreciate that sub. And if you're interested in seeing more RPG Maker MV tutorials, please consider backing me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.